Hello everybody, this is the Vigilant Soldier here, and I come before you right now to um, share an absolutely very, very, very important message. Now, this is the message that we are to share the gospel with the entire world, and we're not just to go to some church. Now, church can, this quote unquote church, now the real church is the entire congregation, the body of the Christ, the believers, but what I'm saying is that... Um, we aren't to just go to church on Saturday, because the true Sabbath is Saturday, well, Sunday, because most is going Sunday, but what I'm saying is, the true Sabbath is Saturday, that is true, but anyway, what I was getting at, so, um, most of us, we don't just go to church one day of the week, maybe two days, some people, we don't just do an hour service, or however long they do, a few hours, and then go home, because, yeah, it's good to edify yourself, make sure that you help get edification from the Lord's Spirit. And it's good to edify others, and it's good to get edified. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's good. It is indeed good to edify others to you so-called pastors out there. However, is this what Jesus told us to do? Now, yeah, we are indeed encouraged to meet up and some form of so-called quote-unquote church. I, I, I hesitate to kind of say the word church because that is not because the biblical word for church is more like it's more like the entire body of Christ. But let's just call it like say church. This place, sure, we can do that. That can indeed be good to your faith. Guess it is in a sense biblical. But in a way, this ain't like, this is not the true thing we're supposed to be doing. Now, as I said, it can indeed help the Lord. By help the Lord, it can indeed be beneficial for your, to your Lord. We go, yeah, that's absolutely, it will be beneficial. As long as you're all in sound and proper doctrine, I don't see why you shouldn't do that. So, yeah, do this, yes. But don't make it your entire Christian life. You've got to be doing other things. For example, I'm on YouTube right now making videos. Whenever I get the chance, if I'm like in the right spirit, I will speak about Jesus because it's what I'm called to do. Now, I admit there are times when I'm not speaking out when I should be, but we all get into those times. I still need to make sure I'm in proper spirit. Because as I said, I've got a lot going on in my life. I know it's no excuse because as the Christ even said, let the dead bury the dead. But what I'm trying to say is, I ain't perfect, none of us are, we need to, um, we all need to strengthen spiritually, but when I'm in the right spirit, yeah, I'll speak to anyone about Christ, and there's, there's a, a reason I do these YouTube videos, ain't for money, I ain't even making money off these, I ain't even monetized these yet, I, I, I'm not monetizing this yet, if I do get a certain amount of subscribers, then one day I will monetize it, yes, not for selfish reasons, but so I can finance it, and you know, to help keep a roof above my head, and if I have a family, well yeah, I'll be able to support my family better, but like, my point is, um, my point is anyway, that, what am I getting at right now? I don't even know what I'm getting at, I'm sorry, I always, I always lose my words, but yeah, don't just make your entire Christian life going to church and just doing this, yeah, I share videos with the world, because that's the best way I can share gospel right now, I've, and yeah, I don't go standing in the street corner preaching or like shouting at the top of my voice, no, some brothers do that, that's great, that's your calling, but I do want to do something like that, and I'm actually going to start doing that in Manchester, my area. I do. I am indeed going to start doing that soon. I I do speak to others about Jesus. Yeah, that's what we're called to do. So I do witness for Christ, and obviously I do YouTube and I do other things. Like I I also bring up prophecies. Whenever I speak to someone, I get the chance. I will speak about Jesus and I will give them points for why he, he's real on that, and they'll they'll, they'll come on to it. They're like yeah, that's right. And I'm currently speak trying to. I think the Lord's currently using me to get to people saved. Well, the one specific in mind specifically but you know what i mean so you've got to at least witness for jesus so if you're at least witness if you're just at that home studying every night and if you're avoiding sin and that whatever if you are genuinely following the law but you're not preaching yeah fair enough it doesn't mean you're not saved the scriptures do say you don't necessarily have to do words to get saved no you don't it's not even a case whether we sin or not if we get we're two christians now that's a completely other video entirely which i do intend on making because I'm, I'm not telling you to go out there and sin. No, 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 no. That would be terrible for your relationship with God. But some people think that if you sin once or something, then you're not truly saved until you confess your sins. That's not true. The scriptures say differently. But, you know, that's a completely other topic. Because, as I said, the scriptures say it's not of works. Now, they do tell you to confess your sins. But say it's more about the um, whether you have the will to confess your sins or not. Because if you sin and you die for you get the chance to confess. But your mind's changed. Then that means you've repented, man. Because Jesus paid for all your past, present, and future sins. And that's not to say you can sin. No. Because our minds are changed by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit brings to repentance. It's truly repent means to change your mind. Anyway, what I was getting at. So we're called to share the new good news with the world. And the good news of the gospel. But um, So let's get to the scripture. Eh? 
Mark, the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now what is that saying? I think that's 100%, you know, biblical there. I think it's obvious. The title of this video is biblical. Say, you need, he's telling you to go out into the entire world, travel the world. Travel the world to spread the gospel. Because you need to reach multiple different people. Now, I understand some people don't have the money or the ability to. That's completely fine. You just need to preach wherever you can. Just don't just... Basically, the, the message of this is don't just preach to one specific person, one audience. Yeah, it's good if you preach to one person to get them saved. But my point is, you shouldn't be just sitting in one place. And if you feel called to travel the world to preach gospel, that's completely biblical. The scriptures are saying it right here. Look, the scripture says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. He ain't saying, go to church on Saturday or Sunday, whatever, preach to a few people. No, because the world completely misunderstands this. Because the world are lazy. Christians are lazy these days, and it's not good for Christ. Christ told us to go into all the world, not just the world, all the world. Now, this does indeed encourage street preaching, preaching as I said. Street preaching isn't necessarily so necessary, as long as you're doing some other things, as I said. As long as you're witnessing for Jesus, like speaking to other people, to why he may exist. That's a form of preaching. For example, posting statuses online about him. Through points, that's a form of preaching. YouTube videos, form of preaching. So I do preach, and I do intend to street preach soon whenever I gain the better ability to. But yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Point is, anyway. Sorry, I had to tell. The point is, yeah. Just don't. Just don't mess about. Don't be lazy. And just, just do what you're called to do. Do what the scriptures tell you to do. And sorry that I just went quiet and I had to just do something. Do what you're called to do. Please don't be lazy. Please don't just go to church and have that be your only Christian life. No. This is a constant battle. We are even caught. Described as a living sacrifice. That's because we give our lives upon to it. We do the live. We do the work. And soon, I'm going to France. I'm going to try and do some preaching there or witnessing whatever. I'm going to Florida next year. Definitely going to do something there. I've got a couple of brothers down there. I'll be meeting at least one of them, I think. So that'll be good. Going to Tenerife, I think it is. Yeah, because I have family over there. I'm going to definitely do summer over there. That's definitely an audience which I reckon I could, um, the Lord could use me to reach. And yeah. Oh. Just wanted to, um, to say that anyway. Oh, sorry, I just got a tight lot. So you get the message of it. Share the good news with the world. And don't just sit in. I'm going many places. Just travel the world if you can. Many people are indeed called to travel the world, which is a good thing. And if you travel the world to do it, you know, maybe you'll find more joy in your ministry, which is obviously a good thing, because that means you'll be able to minister better. And don't just be lazy. Minister to the best of your ability. And travel the world. Do the scriptures say travel the all the world? We have many brothers doing this. Well, not not many. I mean, like there are multiple brothers doing this, but many of us don't do this. We need to all stand up, and I'm going to do this. I do plan on doing this. Also, I plan on going to Israel one day. I really want to do it because it's a broken nation right now, and we need to reach many people. And Israel would be a perfect place to like go and preach. TVSA or anyway, there's no and um, might have some. I've, got, I've also. I'm sorry that I've been just resting the past few days. You know, busy family, but. I'm back now, and I also, I need to make some because apparently the loving Christian apparently um, exposed me. I don't get how he exposed me, but, you know, I don't care anyway, I'm not getting involved in this drama. The only bit of quote-unquote drama, which isn't even drama, this is so biblically that I've got to biblically do, quite a scripture do. I'm about to expose the identity of this troll, because I know who the troll is. We've got proof now who it is, and I'm sorry for whoever this is, because like, I wish it wasn't you, mate, but well, it is. And the video is going up either tonight or tomorrow, and I've got proof that it's you. And there's just one bit of more proof that I need, and then, I'm sorry, maybe we're after exposure, 
I still want to be friends with you, so I still want to be able to reach you, because I do want to be able to reach you, mate. But I want to be able to actually talk to you as well after the video is going up. I want to talk over the phone, because this needs to happen, and I'm so sorry, but... And I'll, in fact, I'm not even sorry, it's your own fault, but I mean, this this, this needs to happen. As the scriptures say, we go into the world, we, we aren't supposed to let these feelings get in front of our ways. And I know you're my friend in that, but I've got our exposure. So the video will be up later. I've got another video warning this troll, because this troll, they're in for... They're in for, they're going to be in for a shock if they even come near me or my family. <sighs> anyway, go into all the world, don't be lazy. Get your energy up. Get up that mountain like this guy's doing in there. Get up mountains, preach off the top of mountains, you get what I'm saying? you got to do things like that. Really, make a journey out of this, because, you know, the apostles went to different countries and all that. Paul did. So, yeah. Pray you all doing well, and I hope you all have a great ministry, and I hope some of you do feel called now to travel the world, because that is what the scriptures say. The Vigilant Soldier, anyway. I love you all. I'm sad for now.